This is Tom Dillon, The Lifetime Liberal. Today is Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023. The title of this grant is, rant is Why the GOP's Unending War on Unions uh, Must Be Crushed. So in the early 1970s, approximately 30 to 33% uh, of all the workforce was unionized. Now it's less than 10%. That's in the private sector. And it has shown a tremendous decrease in the earning power of, let's say, the proletariat. Uh, 73, we had the Powell Memorandum, which basically declared a 100-year war on liberalism, or let's say, which included unions, uh, which was a war on the proletariat. Uh, since then, uh, the productivity of the average work, uh, uh, productivity of the average working American has increased dramatically, uh, but wages have pretty much been stagnant over that entire time frame. Now, when Reagan came in, he basically declared a war on unions. It started with the uh, uh, well, he, he declared war on unions, and so much so that in essence, up to about fifty trillion dollars has been transferred from the proletariat to the absolute uh, filthy rich since then. And what we've seen is a minor resurgence of unions, but we need to have that increase, 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 and increase so that everyone can get the benefit of unions, which was which was happening in the 50s, 60s, and the early part of the 70s. Now, this year, we've seen some nice union contracts for John Deere, uh, for United, um, United Parcel Service, uh, United, et cetera. Uh, the next one that's coming up uh, is GM. Uh, now, GM has, I mean, the labor unions, United Auto Workers, is basically saying, hey, uh, all the all top management at GM, they, they've had a 40% increase uh, <clears throat> in their pay in the last four years. We want the same thing. We're the one that's helping drive all of this production. We're the ones that are building these cars for you. We should get the fruits of the same, fruits of our labor. And, of course, so many other um, uh, um, uh, companies uh, are trying to unionize. So many other people are trying to unionize within Amazon, Apple, Starbucks, Trader Joe's, even doctors are doing it. And all the while, uh, corporations are basically putting millions upon millions of dollars into firms whose sole purpose in life is basically to screw the proletariat, you and me, out of, uh, let's just say, living wages. Uh, and I just want to put out one thing right here. I mean, this is kind of where things are going right now. This is so much more important uh, than, let's say, these trans issues that are going around right now. This is everyday people uh, who are being crushed Every single day, can't pay their rent, can't pay medical bills, uh, can't feed their children, etc. Because the rich just want to keep on getting richer. Now, I do want to point out something uh, that Abraham Lincoln said in his inaugural address in 1861, where it says, uh, "Labor is prior to and independent of capital. Capital is only the fruit of labor, and could never have existed if labor had not first existed." Labor is the superior of capital and deserves much higher consideration. So there you have it. We've got to ha have better access to getting increase in union membership. Uh, the only way we can do that, we have to reelect Joe. We have to increase uh, the funding for the Department of Labor, uh, the National Labor Relations Board, the Securities and Exchange Commission, the IRS. In fact, just any agency that is there to help uh, labor in essence. And of course, the only way we can do this is we need to elect liberal Democrats.